This video describes the X13 Arima Seats Seasonal Adjustment Procedure, new in Stack Graphics 18. The X13 Arima Seats Seasonal Adjustment Procedure was developed by the U.S. Census Bureau. It's widely used by many governmental agencies. It performs the seasonal adjustment of time series using either an ARIMA model based approach or using the nonparametric methods in the earlier X11 program. There are built-in adjustments for holidays including moving holidays like Easter. Stack Graphics 18 uses the seasonal library in R to perform the calculations. This is done through the Stack Graphics R interface. As an example, I'm going to apply X13 ARIMA seats to monthly unemployment rates in the United States. I have a data set with the rates for every month beginning in January 2000 and ending in September 2017. This plot shows the unadjusted unemployment rates. You can see quite a bit of regular seasonality in the data. Before you can use X13 ARIMA seats in Stack Graphics 18, you need to download and install R and the seasonal library. If you select the R interface, R installation and configuration from the main Stack Graphics menu, you'll see this dialog box. Installing R is as simple as pushing the install button and following the self-explanatory instructions. You'll also need to install Pandoc and R Markdown by pushing this button and the seasonal program right here by pushing this button. If you have any problems, there's a separate video that describes in detail how to install and configure R. Once R is installed, you can load your data into the Stack Graphics 18 data sheet. Then go to the main menu, look for R interface, and select X13 ARIMA seats. The data input dialog box asks you for the name of the column containing the data. In my example, I have a column called unemployment rate unadjusted and a column containing the time indices. My column is called month. I can ignore the rest of the data input dialog box and press OK. The next dialog box you'll see is the analysis options dialog box. This controls how the seasonal adjustment is performed. Up in the top left corner, you'll see a field labeled adjustment method. If you want to use the ARIMA-based approach, select seats. If you want to use the earlier approach, push the radio button labeled X11. If you're going to use the ARIMA-based approach, you next need to specify how the ARIMA model will be selected. You can have the program automatically pick a good model for you by looking at the data, or you can specify the order of the various autoregressive, differencing, and moving average terms. You can also specify which moving holidays you'd like the program to adjust for. You can choose between Easter, Chinese New Year, and Indian Diwali, or none. In the case of Easter, you can either specify how many days before Easter you wish to account for, or let the program try different numbers of days and automatically determine what the best adjustment is. There's a field in the top right section of the dialog box where you can specify the transformation you'd like to apply to the data. 
One choice is to have the program automatically try logs and no logs and pick whichever result is the best. You can specify a logarithm if all your values are greater than zero, a square root if all your values are greater or equal to zero, an inverse if you have things other than zero, and a logistic transformation if all your values are between zero and one. X13 Arima Seats has a built-in test for outliers. You can turn it on or off with the outlier critical value field. Basically, the program runs a z-test on any unusual values, values which look like outliers. It will remove the points from the fit if they exceed a particular value of z. You can either specify that value of z or have the program automatically pick the critical value based upon the number of observations in the series. I can also ask the program to adjust my data for the number of trading days in the month. There are two possible selections. It'll use a one coefficient model or a six coefficient model to make the trading day adjustment. Or if I select automatic, it'll choose automatically between those two choices. Once the options are selected, I then choose the tables and graphs that I wish to see. While R will perform the calculations, all of the tables and graphs are created by Stat Graphics. Once you press OK, the data will be sent to R. R will do the calculations and return the results to Stat Graphics. An analysis window will then be created showing you the commands that were sent to R and tabulating things like the seasonal indices, showing you the trend cycle, and also showing you the estimated seasonality. To give you an idea of what the program has done, here you see a plot of the unemployment rates with the estimated trend cycle. The trend cycle shows the long-term changes in the data having removed both the seasonality and the irregular part. In this plot, you see the seasonally adjusted data. The seasonally adjusted data has those regular ups and downs caused by consistent differences between January's, February's, and so forth removed from the data. Finally, if you wish to save the seasonally adjusted data, all you need to do is push the Save Results button on the Analysis Toolbar. To show you how easy it is to use the X13 Arima Seats Seasonal Adjustment Procedure, I've loaded the unemployment rates into my data sheet. For each month, I know both the unadjusted unemployment rates and also the seasonally adjusted values published by the government. It'll be interesting to compare our results with those published. To run the procedure, I'll go to the top menu and select R Interface X13 Arima Seats Seasonal Adjustment. On the Data Input dialog box, I'll select the unadjusted unemployment rates and month. When the Analysis Options dialog box comes up, I could change the options if I liked. I'm just going to take all the defaults, however, and press OK. Finally, when the list of tables and graphs appear, I'm going to add a request for a plot of the seasonally adjusted data. It's now going to send the data to R. R does the calculations and Stat Graphics plots the results. Incidentally, 
One of the major differences between the X13 Arima seats procedure and the classical seasonal adjustment using ratio to moving average is that the seasonal effects are allowed to change over time. Here you see a seasonality plot showing the estimated seasonality. You can follow a particular month and note that the effect of this particular month, August, has gotten much more significant over the years. Now let's save our seasonally adjusted data. To do that, I'll go up to the analysis toolbar and press the save results button. I'll ask it to save my seasonally adjusted data in a column called S adjusted, which it will put in data sheet B. To compare our seasonally adjusted data with those published by the government, I'll go to the top menu and select plot, scatter plots, multiple XY plot. This column contains the published unemployment rates. This is our seasonally adjusted data. We'll plot both of these versus month. Here you can see a pretty close agreement between our results and the official seasonally adjusted unemployment rates.